Madame Butterfly was a geisha. The geisha is like a prison. See if rich people buy that geisha, and the city can be free. And so, in fact, her beginning is not to love. The Madame Butterfly is want to get freedom, and so she wanted to be a buy by rich man. My aim to direct is how to show the mystery of the human being and the beauty of a human being in front of the public. Om man tänker på Chine så tänker man bara melodi. Men för mig är den kosmos som finns under, under melodin, den är otroligt viktigt. Och det är mycket modernare än vi, än vi tänker, för att vi sjunger alla de melodier, vi känner dem. Men att det finns den, den orkestreringen och eh, hur, han, hur han gör all detta under melodin, det är så modernt faktiskt. För det är ganska sent, om vi tänker på andra romantiska operor, så är 1904-1910 ganska sent. Jag heter Henrik Schäfer och jag är musikaliskt ledare av Göteborgs operans orkester och dirigerar den här produktionen av Madame Butterfly. Uh, my name is Aaron Cawley. I'm uh, from the west coast of Ireland and I'll be singing the role of Pinkerton. Pinkerton is an American uh, Navy lieutenant who docks up in Japan and decides to rent or buy a wife. At a quick glance he's a bit flippant and a bit of a a villain because he leaves and doesn't come back and when he does she has a child and she kills herself so he's really the primary antagonist of the story but the more you get into it and you can see the colors the shades of gray between what's right and wrong uh, I've come to empathize with him a lot more because I see him as like all of us uh, where he was young he came into some success with his, his job and um, he didn't take himself so seriously
Madama Butterfly is just 15 years old Japanese geisha. She is very young and she is innocent, pure person. When she saw the first time Pinkerton, she fell in love immediately. So uh, after that, she is driven by love. And what I find interesting about this production is it gives us a chance to show, it shows the variety in him because he must be a nice guy if she decides to, to love him, if she decides to, to wait for him because it's not actually customary for, the, for these weddings. As Yamadori comes in in the second half uh, to, um, to, to really to marry her, she refuses, which is uncommon actually. Most of the most of the geishas would, wouldn't take this marriage so seriously and they'd move on. But she did because she loved them. There was something about their chemistry or their dynamism that attracted her to them. The marriage is a, it's a big problem that period in Japan. If they marry with the European people, Japanese hate it. Uh, but Madame Butterfly decided I have a new life. Also, when the Bonds comes in, he fights off her family to protect her. He didn't have to do that. I mean, if he wasn't invested in her, he wouldn't care. But he does. He holds them off and he defends her. And then he becomes very intimate. So I think that there is something definitely real in there. So we're going for two thousand men. So we're going to set up a hand there. Yoshi had a uh, smart, good idea. Uh, I think this, pro this production is like a, a play in a opera. hard journey for her because she was very young, innocent, but after meeting him, she uh, became mature and became uh, the mom, so she has the responsibility to take care of uh, her child, so I think it's a very uh, tough journey for her.
She is pretending to uh, be happy, but inside of her, she is suffer, uh, incredible suffer she has. very much with uh, Butterfly because we see her struggle in Act 2. We don't see his, but yet he comes back and nobody's told him he has a child. Nobody told him that. I mean, she could have written. Let's be honest, she, she could have done something like that, but that didn't happen. So he comes back to say that he's sorry and to just to give her her freedom and he's met with a child. Uh, that's a bit of a shock, actually. Because Yoshi is Japanese, it's, <clears throat> it's inverted the usual approach to Butterfly, where Western directors focus on Butterfly being the exotic and everything else being normal in their view. While with Yoshi, I'm the exotic, Pinkerton is the outsider, and everything else is normal in his opinion or his view. When I sing the Puccini, I'm very happy. And especially this opera is uh, most important and beautiful uh, music uh, among the Puccini's opera. So I'm very happy, but uh, it's very tough because uh, the, this opera, Madame Butterfly, is a, like a monodrama. So for three hours, I uh, have to sing like a monodrama, so it's very hard to um, to sing technically. But I have many, I have done many times, uh, so now I feel a little bit comfortable, <laughs> and I feel easy, but uh, a little bit um, hard. <laughs> De melodierna och stämningar som han hittar 
på de ställen som är otroligt trist. De är helt fantastiska. Det finns ingen annan som, som kan det som, som han kunde det. det är i de passagen var man gråta och det, det ska alla göra, det lovar jag. Och även vi har det svårt, som stå, jag som står i diket och dirigerar har det svårt att inte gråta. Det är så enkelt och, och, och fantastiskt att gå rakt in i hjärtat.